Hello, here we are for another video and in this one we're going to be looking at how do you filter across multiple dimensions or just a single dimension and if you don't know what that means you have to check out this video so let's go. All right, guys, here we are for another video. So if you've been kind of like following a few of the videos I've been releasing lately, I've been working very hard on the website. And in fact, the expert course only has, I think, a few videos left. That's it. And then I got to upload them and then it's done. But it's, it's all there. So after I upload those last few videos, uh, the whole thing is finished. So uh, beginner, intermediate, and expert, it is all there. Um, and there is still more to come, if you can believe it. So the great thing about the website is if you subscribe, you get access to all future stuff, right? So it's really simple. You get access to everything. So let me just show you a quick tour of the website. So we've got the site here. If you click on the Tableau bundle, you will see the entire thing here. And looking at the expert course, we have it right here, and it is a whopping 19 hours. And to give you an idea, the old Udemy course, which was the whole course, I think it was only 21 hours. This is just expert, so you can see just how much stuff was added. Okay, and if you are just seeing me for the first time and you want to check out the site, there is a two and a half free course to get you up and running, absolutely free, so you can start there. All the links are in the description below. So let's get into the video. All right, here we are in Tableau. And basically what I want to show in this video is what do you do when you have an action filter, but you don't want to filter on all the dimensions that are there. So a good example of how to do this, and I'm just going to kind of clear these sheets for this demo. I'm just using the Superstore data set. So a lot of you will already be familiar with this one, but even if you're not, it is all good. Let me just clear all this just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Let's call this one. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put uh, category. No, maybe not category. Let's do segment at the top and subcategory here. Then I'm simply going to add sales into the color. Okay, here we go. And maybe we'll add label as well. Let's make this a um, heat map. Okay, so that's the first one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this like so. And I'm going to name the first one left and the second one right. And I actually teach this in the course, um, in the expert course. Okay, so basically what we've done is we've brought those two together. Now, generally speaking, when we build action filters, and those are the ones that are located here, it will filter based on everything in the visualization. So let me do that as an example. So I turn that bad boy off. Actually, we'll turn it off first. If I click on, let's say, chairs, nothing happens, right? But if I click on it while this is on, if I click on this right here, this chair, what it will do in the actions um, underneath it all, it will go, well, what are the fields that I need to generate this point? Well, first I need subcategory to equal to chairs, and I need segment to e equal to consumer. I take those two conditions, one and two, and I apply it to all the other sheets in my visualization. So the way we can test this is when we do, when we click on this point right here, when we go into this sheet, right, the underlying sheet, we should see a new filter, an action filter in there with those two in there. So let's see. If I click on this, you can see this one on the right has filtered. If we go into this one, you can see there is now this new filter that wasn't in there before. And basically it's doing two things. It's filtering on segment and subcategory, so two dimensions. And if I open that up, interestingly, you'll see this. Consumer, comma, accessories, consumer. And what that's done is it's looked at every like permutation, I guess, or every combination of segment to subcategory that can possibly exist, as you can see. But this structure doesn't actually exist in here anywhere. It's like a dynamic thing, okay? But what if for your particular visualization, let's deselect this, I didn't want to filter for just um, that single point. Let's say I wanted that if a stakeholder picks anything here in chairs, it will filter on this side only in chairs, it will not filter for the segment field. How do you do that? Well, if we go into the actions, okay, this is the filter we just generated and we open that up. 
here on the bottom, you're going to see this section right here. Now, it doesn't have really a name it's just called filter i guess i like to call it like customized filters if you will so when it says all fields that's exactly the default of how this works which is all the fields needed to generate that point but we want to be able to control this so we want to go selected fields and we only want it to filter using subcategories so i can go in here and look for it uh, subcategory there it is okay and then we simply press okay Okay, so what should happen now is no matter which one I click in chairs, it will show me all three values where um, subcategory is equal to chairs. So let's have a try, as you can see. Okay, so this is very helpful for very specific um, needs of your stakeholders. Obviously, depending on the data and the problem that they're trying to solve, sometimes they don't want to. They don't want to filter too deep they kind of want to filter at a different level so this lets you do that all right so we'll leave it there hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you at the next video bye <laughs>